some of them actually leave footprints on our hearts. And because of that, um, you've noticed that many of our venues and entertainment areas, we get to name after those very special children. And one of those children I came very close to many years ago, when I went up to visit him in Nebraska, said to me, you know, Pam, children like me, we're not afraid of dying. We're afraid of being forgotten. And that's always stuck with me. So every child who visits here gets a star on the ceiling of our Castle of Miracles. And if you haven't seen it, please, before you leave here today, walk in there and just get a sense of all of those stars representing one beautiful child who's been here at the village. But we, can't, we don't have that many places to name. So we're very blessed when people and those little children leave their footprints on our heart that we're able to recognize them. First, our Wacky Waterworks, which has been here for a while. But we're renaming it today Jack's Wacky Waterworks because Jack was here several years ago. And from what I understand, he loved nothing more, even more than going to the parks, but his dream was to play in the Wacky Waterworks. And he would lay under there and just let the water flow all over him. And when it was time to go back to their villa, the first thing he would say is, please, somebody take me back there. And that became his home. So we're very honored to rededicate our Wacky Waterworks as Jack's Wacky Waterworks. And come to find out after we um, asked his beautiful mom if we were able to do that, Jennifer, she said, we call him Wacky Jack. So it was serendipitous, to say the least. And then when we saw these beautiful characters on the side of the serendipity, some of them just spoke to us. And that's what happens. It just speaks to us. And our little turtle friend there, we've named after Vinny. Vinny was the very first child that we welcomed back on January 17th after a long 10-month closure. And I was here to greet him as they went into their villa, this precious little boy. Unfortunately, he was in the midst of the pandemic, so there was no hugging. We had to keep our six-foot distance, but he just kept saying, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And two short weeks later, he wasn't with us anymore. I took a look at that turtle, and you can see the precious little face. Those beautiful eyes and that smile just spoke to me as Vinny. The next, we have a crab, and that's named for Tristan. Tristan was here several years ago. We lost him two years ago from Nashville. His mom's not able to be with us today, but serendipitously found out um, he got his diagnosis just several days before his fifth birthday. So his mom kept that inside because she didn't want to spoil his birthday. But because of all the emotions that were running through her, of course, she'd forgotten to get a cake and forgotten to get decorations. So she ran in Publix to buy a cake, and there was only one cake. And it happened to be a pirate cake. And that started Tristan's love of pirates. So it's only fitting that we have our crab here named for Tristan. And then, of course, Cambry was brought into my life just earlier this year. When she was introduced to me by two of our wonderful volunteers from Michigan, Jenny and Steve, and they told me this amazing story about this incredible young woman who was so full of life, so full of spirit. And when we saw that beautiful seahorse, I said, wouldn't you want that named after Cambry because of her spirit? And wouldn't any captain want somebody with that kind of spirit and love and fight? Because the first introduction I had to Cambry was a video of all of her friends singing the song, I still have a lot of fight left in me. And those haunting words of Cambry saying, I still have a lot of fight left with me, stay with me every single day. And every time I look at that beautiful seahorse, think of Cambry. So thank you for listening to those stories. They're very special. We're very blessed to have three of those moms with us today. And it's all about the moms because ships, of course, are ladies. And to christen this ship, I'd like to welcome up the moms. Mar Please, you have Jack's mom. You'll help me welcome Jennifer. We have Jesse, Vincent's mom, and Shannon, who is Cambry's mom. Please come up here and join. Thank you.
thank you so much. These beautiful, brave women, the caregivers, the love of my life. They're part of our family now and forever. We love you. Nancy, it's like a second mom to Cambry and Shannon's best friend, and we're so happy that you joined us as well. So if you want to just gather around over here, I've been told this is a breakaway bottle, but I was not allowed to actually hit it on the ship. I have to hit it on a post because if I break the ship, I'm, I'm history. So, okay? Across the western ocean I was one